All right, welcome back, Sanjeev Basin, joining in as promised. And Sanjeev, what a week it was gone by, and now you have uh, a little bit more clarity with respect to uh, what the portfolio allocations could be that the markets are now awaiting. How do you expect this week to trend? As crazy as the last? <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Awan. No, I don't want the repeat of last week. Uh, it was it was really tumultuous. In thirty five years, I may have not seen such a week. And and yesterday also, India beating Pakistan was a you know climax to what was uh, played out in the market. Who thought that we'll win by seven runs? So fingers crossed. I think this week may be more less volatile. But that's the nature of the animal, you know. As you get portfolio allocations, as you get the left out feeling, which is humongous. So I I I am of the camp that take, take some money off the table when the dumb money buys so aggressively. You got to be a little cautious. The allocation of portfolio and the you know bigger event will be the budget and so on. But all in all, it still seems that equity globally are in a sweet spot, and India continues to lead the charge. Now, a large part of that has been the retail investors, and if the FIs make a comeback, I think that would be where you will get the crescendo, and that will be a good time actually to take some money off the chips and wait for the budget or the other events of the portfolio and so on. Right. So, uh, Sanjeev, no buying at all, or are there still uh, stocks that you believe one can buy right now? Yeah, good morning. I said no, no I, I meant on the index. Of course, as a portfolio investor, you have to be in stocks. You can't wait for, uh, I mean, that 21,200 when I was in your studio was maybe uh, the best opportunity. But in that fear, when you were expecting lower circuits, nobody could buy. So, so that's the uncanniness of market. I still think technology is in a very sweet spot. I've been very bullish on Wipro. It came back so smartly at CL Tech. I, I also think that some of the uh, you know, Aditya Virla groups have been re-rated from uh, Vodafone to AB FRL to AB Capital, Ultratech, Hindalco, all leading. Grassim seems very sweet over there. Uh, our, our top picks continue to be, you know, some of the insurance companies. HDFC Life has staged a smart comeback. I think that there's a block deal in emphasis. Don't miss out on that because I think uh, emphasis as a stock on the, on the barometer of a mid-cap can be an outperformer from here. I would say something closer to 3,000. So do your stock picking, do your analysis, but on the index, just be a little wary because this type of volatility is going to cut you on both sides. Uh, we are of the view that raising a bit of cash uh, is also prudent before the big event, and uh, uh, we will wait for the portfolio allocation, which may also add a little bit to the volatility. That we get the we will get the portfolio allocation in two three hours maximum during the market hour. If it is status quo. And purely from a market standpoint, which is what is important, the most important ministry would be finance ministry. If there is status quo, do you think market will react positively? Well, uh, uh, there's a glass half full, half empty. Good news, market is said, buy on rumor, sell on fact. If it is good news, it will get priced in. Nikunj, we are not cheap, we are at all-time high. And if it is bad news, then anyway the market could correct or sulk for a few days. But the undertone remains that this is a buy on dip market because the left out feeling, particularly in the FIs, is humongous. And now with stability on bond yields and the rest in the US, there is an important CPI data which we can you know, correlate. But I think tech technology is uh, something which has been an underperformance, which can be an outcome. See, the markets are, are very smart. Who thought IT, FMCG and auto will again lead the charge, whereas PSUs do nothing? So allocation of portfolio becomes important, just as allocation of ministries. Uh, it will be status quo, uh, according to me. It should be an opportunity to sell if the same uh, uh, portfolio of finance is re retained. Great point. So if you, and what we are talking about essentially is a short-term market uh, action. In the short term, it's sentiment, buy the news, sell the rumor, exit poll. Look at the reaction. It was like a blowout Monday. Tuesday, panic reaction. Wednesday, come back. Thursday, bout of short covering. Friday, long bias. Kunal, how much of the short covering bout is already over? I mean, do you think the compulsions are over? No, not over uh, completely, Nikunj. But I think uh, I was looking at the data yesterday. There was some, uh, you know, one third positions, maybe just slightly less than one third positions uh, from the uh, index short positions. That's been covered by the uh, you know, FIS. But there's a major chunk which is still left in terms of short covering. Now, we can't expect the entire chunk to be 
taken out or to be completed in terms of short covering data point. But the other intriguing point is that uh, so index futures you know one side, the other is uh, underperforming sectors, the likes of IT, you know banking stocks, private sector banking names, financial services names. I think many of the stocks and the sectors which were uh, you know still dragging for the last six nine months or so. Many of these stocks have made a comeback and again there is an evidence of strong short covering into those sectors. So it's not the short covering is not limited to the index futures. It's the quantum has been a bit less as compared to the rally which you've seen for the indices uh, from the you know three day four day swing low. But the quantum of uh, you know uh, short covering on the uh, stock specific futures, I think that's increasing and I think that could probably support the market move going forward. Okay. But since up, how much of the short covering was over? So, uh, Nikunj, firstly, you know, such a volatile uh, week is, is is very difficult to digest and both sides, the flows have caught you on the, you know, maybe on the wrong side. I think a large part of it is over. Now, let's not extrapolate what the ministries and the outcome is. You have to be aware that they are going to be two 17 party parties, which in the short term will dictate the terms. What is the impact on the budget? I would say coalitions in the longer term have worked well. But in the shorter term, it is no harm in taking some profit home and allocation of portfolio. Large part of the Nifty and bank, maybe Bank Nifty still has some room because large cap banks are where, where the where the leaders are. But I would say a large part of the rally is done with. So, so on the Nifty, you would make you maybe make another 200 points on the upside, but that would be it. I don't see it crossing 23, 450 in a hurry. And uh, we will wait for the rest of the news flow. The most important part would be the budget the CPI data and so on, which are going to be, uh, you know, more wallet uh, will add to the volatility. But large part of the short covering may be done with. This is the time to take some chips home. I have been constant in my view. I don't mean when fools sell, you should be buyers and fools buy, you should be sellers. That's what the mutual funds are actually doing rightly. All right, Nuresh, how much of the short covering is over? So if you were to look at purely from the data point of FII shorts uh, on the Nifty, uh, that has been uh, on the indices. So on the peak, it went to almost closer to three and a half of, uh, lakhs or a little more. Uh, we've had uh, shots of around 1.9 lakh. And this is still, uh, we've seen this go even to the positive side going forward. So all we need to see is whether this uh, shifts towards positive or we are getting a pause here. But overall, the short covering is not over. We've actually not seen a major short uh, covering to be done. Say 3rd June, we were at 2 lakh contracts on the uh, indices, we are at 1.9 lakh contracts. So the next few sessions, what we need to see is what are the FIIs uh, doing in terms of, uh, we've seen the first positive cash day. Uh, can we see this for the next few sessions? If that happens, we could continue uh, slowly and steadily higher, but the short covering is not over. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now. 